going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. This is episode five of the new series. Now, I was trying to think of a topic for this video and I haven't done a full day of eating in quite some time. Now, today is an off day, so my calories are gonna be a little bit lower, but I wanna show you guys exactly what I eat today. So we're starting off, of course, with breakfast. I have right at half a cup of egg whites with half a serving of cottage cheese. If you never had that combination together, you need to because it is amazing. And then have two servings of Kodiak cakes topped with Weldon Farm syrup and then have a black coffee. Hello, Kenley. You wanna get up here? Say hello to the camera. Say hi. She's got like five passies. <laughs> She's waving. <laughs> she has like five passies. Have you had a good morning? What did you eat? Oh, you're not gonna have daddy's breakfast. No, you're not gonna have it. Oh no, that's daddy's, that's daddy's. <laughs> Now very quickly before I eat my breakfast, I do have a workout pre-recorded for this video, so don't click off the video thinking I don't have a workout for you guys. So now I'm currently sitting outside of a gas station about to go in and buy my very first cigar. So someone in my last video commented and said that I should have been uh, holding a cigar like Arnold for the thumbnail. So I thought, hmm. That's gonna be really great clickbait. So I jumped in the car, now I'm here about to run in, grab a cigar, and take a thumbnail because you know it's all about that clickbait. Yeah, that was fun. Wayne? Yeah. So I just made it back, got the goods. Now I know it's not the Arnold's Cuban cigar or anything, but that's the only thing they had at the gas station. And I didn't even know what to order when I went up there. I was just like looking at the counter, and the guy was like, What do you want? I was like, uh that one i didn't even know what it was called or anything he was like pointing he was like this one i was like yeah that's it so i got this little bitty black and mild is what it's called this thing is tiny i don't know how this is gonna look on a thumbnail so i actually lied to you guys earlier and said this was the very first cigar i ever bought i was thinking about it and that's not actually the truth i bought one right when i turned 18 me and my best friend went to a gas station and the reason why i bought one is because i love the way cigars smell so i was thinking they were going to taste the way they smelt so we went in the gas station bought one of these black and mild and on the way home i lit it and i took like one to two puffs and it did not taste the way it smelt so i literally just chunked it out the window and that was the very last time i smoked can you guys guess what this is from Hold on to your butts. Hold on to your butts. <laughs> Anytime I see anyone with a cigar or cigarette, I don't know why, that always comes to mind. The clickbait thumbnail is now live, so we'll see if this gets any more viewers. So this is a perfect opportunity for me to announce my newest sponsor and that is Fuel Mills. So what Fuel Mills is, is a food prep company and I've been testing out their meals for the past few weeks and they taste incredible. So they have different options on their website so you can buy by the pound, like I have here, the bison burgers, uh, they have shrimp, uh, salmon, and then you also can buy different meals. This is one of my personal favorites, the General Tso's turkey meatballs. Uh, this tastes incredible. And then they have other options like barbecued uh, grilled steak, uh, which is awesome as well. So they have all different options on here. So this is great for someone that works like a nine to five or in college and they don't have time to cook. Or if you're someone that doesn't like to cook at all, this is amazing because you can just throw it in the microwave and you can stay on track with your goals. So if you guys want to check out Fuel Meals, go down to the description box, I have a link to that, and use code ABLE and that will save you 15% off and that will also support me. So what I'm having today is the savory chicken. The reason why I'm going with this one today is because it is lower in carbs. So the calories and macros are all uh, written on every single one of these meals. So this is 400 calories, 57 grams of protein, 10 grams of fat, and 22 carbs. So I'm gonna throw this in the microwave for two minutes and then that is gonna be lunch. So what this meal is, we got some chicken of course, broccoli, and some mashed potatoes. You guys know I gotta get that mid-afternoon coffee since I'm not gonna have pre-workout today uh, because I'm not working out today, which is just a terrible time. I hate not going to the gym and working out. But like I said, I'm gonna show you guys a pre-recorded uh, workout. Now this is a chest workout I did a couple of weeks ago, so I hope you enjoy that. Welcome back to another workout. So I did a ton of press movements throughout this chest workout, and the reason why is because I'm not really able to do a ton of flies right now because my elbow hurts. But press movements does not hurt my elbow at all for whatever reason. So 
The very first exercise is incline barbell bench press. I did eight sets. Yes, eight sets of this one exercise. So I did six sets for around six to eight reps. So I went really heavy. And then I did two sets, which you're watching right here with the bands. And you probably have never seen anyone do bands quite like this. So this is just mainly for balancing. And I went lighter on here and I was trying to go for around 10 to 12 reps. So this is really gonna help with the stabilizing muscles. And it feels completely different because it is just wobbling all over the place. If you never tried it, give it a shot but go really light if you're going to try it for the first time. After that, went into flat barbell bench press. I did four sets of around 10 to 12 reps on the last set, just did a single drop set. So I was staying with 225 pounds on here because after doing those eight sets of heavy incline, I'm telling you, I was already hitting failure pretty quickly and right now when I'm dieting my endurance has suffered so much like my strength is still there but when I go for around like eight reps or above that's when I can really tell my diet is really kicking my butt where my endurance is not where it used to be after that went into incline machine press I did four sets on here for around 12 to 15 reps on the last set, did a double drop set. And then after doing hands normal, I went into three sets of a neutral grip on the same incline. So I was going for around that same 12 to 15 reps. Now on the second set, I did a pause rest set. And then on the last set, I did a double drop set. After that, went into flat machine press. Now I did five sets on here for around 12 to 15 reps. And then on the fourth set, I did a pause rest set. And then on the last set, I did a double drop set. And as you could see, I was not lying when I said I did a ton of press movements throughout this workout. Now I did do flies, but I'm not able to go super heavy on flies and I don't feel like I'm really pushing myself on flies right now because of my elbow pain. Now this was the first workout that I was able to do any types of flies in I would say a couple of weeks now uh, because all the other workouts that I've done a chest workout, I just was not able to do these exercises. So as you can see, I'm not using that much weight on this machine fly. I'm just doing weight that I am trying trying to uh, constantly get that mind muscle connection and squeeze through every single rep so I don't have to use really heavy weight. So I did five sets on here for around uh, 12 to 15 reps. And then on the last set, I just did a single drop set. After that, went into an incline dumbbell fly. I did four sets of around 10 to 12 reps and I did not do any kind of drop sets on here. I just did straight sets. And again, I'm not going super heavy on this movement because I don't want want to injure my elbow any more than what it is. And so the whole time I am squeezing as much as I can. So I'm going down, stretching down at the bottom, going up, squeezing the whole entire time. And I'm using the 40 pound dumbbells and normally I would be using the 50 pound dumbbells all the way up to 70 pound dumbbells doing flies. So this is really light for me, but I'm trying to get that mind muscle connection where I'm still engaging that chest so that I don't lose any size when I'm I am working through this injury. After that went into the last exercise, it is chest dips. Now, when you do chest dips, you want to lean forward as much as possible. You want to go down and stretch down at the bottom and squeeze all the way through. So I did four sets on here to failure. And for me, that was around 10 to 12 reps. But guys, that's the end of the workout. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. So I did adjust my cardio a little bit and I wanna keep you up to date with everything that I am changing. So right now I'm doing 35 minutes of fasted cardio in the morning and then on the next day I do 45 minutes of fasted cardio. So I only up my cardio five minutes every other day. So now it's around five o'clock and I need a protein snack before dinner tonight because we're about to get ready to go to our church because Brady has been going to VBS, which is, uh, a lot of people don't know what that is. I was just assuming because I'm from the South that everyone knows what that is. And VBS is Vacation Bible School for Kids. And so it's every summer for a lot of churches. And Brady's been going there this whole entire week at night and spending time there doing all kinds of different classes and stuff, learning about uh, the Bible and stuff. So it's been pretty awesome for him. He's had a great time. So what I'm having for a snack is some leftover brisket that we had for Father's Day. And this is instead of like having a protein bar or something. So I have right at four and a half ounces of this brisket and it is super, super good, even though it is like a few days old. So we just made it to church. Brady, you all ready to go to VBS for the last night? Yeah. 
So we drop him off at 6.30 and then we have to come back tonight because it's the last night at 7.30 to see the last ceremony and stuff. All right, Brady, see you later. Bye, Have fun. So when Brady's in class, we're gonna get some dinner and we're gonna be eating at Kava tonight. So I'm gonna have to somehow calculate everything in my fitness pal with how many calories and macros are in this place. I'm not sure if they do. Do they have stuff on my fitness pal, do you know? I have no idea. We're gonna have to test it out and see. If not, I'll just be giving my best guess, honestly. Double chicken. Yeah. All right, so I got one of their uh, grains and salads is what it's called. So I got a mixture of rice with lettuce and all kinds of different toppings. So I told them everything besides like the carb stuff. So I got corn, I got onions, and Kinley just dumped out her food. <laughs> Kinley's got a meal, check this thing out. Yeah, she that did. looks incredible, yeah, she's dumped a lot of the lentils all over the floor. So anyways, I got all kinds of stuff on here and I pulled off these little pita chips, but they're super good. Uh, but this, I don't have to have any sauces or anything because it's just super loaded. The chicken is really like saucy and it is really, really good. So I'm gonna try to calculate this on my fitness pal as accurate as possible. So we just got done eating and it was super, super good. That place is amazing. It's like a subway for healthy food. It's better than Chipotle any day, right? Don't I you like think it so? Better, yeah. It's really, really good. So I tried to calculate everything up as accurate as I could on my fitness pal. Now I'm not gonna be, of course, 100% accurate or anything. Now if I was closer to a contest or photo shoot, I would not be able to eat at this place because it's just not accurate enough. But I calculated everything and it was right at like 750 calories. And the reason why I was able to eat here is because before eating, eating this meal, I was only at like 1200 calories for the day. So I had plenty of calories to mess around with and this is not gonna knock me off track at all. So we just got back to the church and we're gonna go check out Brady. Are you excited, Kenny? You excited? <laughs> yes. <laughs> So Brady, how was VBS? Did you like it? Yeah, I Was it a lot it. of fun? Yeah. It was? Yeah. What'd you do? I, I had Did you dance? Yeah. You danced like a crazy man. So now all we're gonna do is head home and put these kids to bed because it is bedtime. Kinley was like falling asleep through that service. <laughs> it's past her bedtime. It's past her bedtime right now. Poor girl. She goes to bed at like 8.30 and right now it's what, like nine o'clock? Surely not. 8.45, somewhere oh, in there. So we're back home and the kids went straight to bed. So even though it's an off day, I still have to take creatine. And normally I would take this earlier on in the day, but I totally forgot. And so I'm gonna go ahead and take it. So I'm taking the Celtec Creator by Muscle Tech. So I'm gonna take two scoops of this. I already have it mixing in this cup. And this stuff mixes so easy that you don't even have to have it in a shaker bottle. You can just put it in a cup, use a spoon and just stir it up and there's no clumps whatsoever. And the flavor, this is Fruit Punch Extreme. And this stuff tastes amazing. Okay, so now I'm finishing off my calories with some burnt popcorn. I actually really did burn it. That is really sad. So this is the 100 calorie mini bag of popcorn. Whew, gosh, I might have to throw that away and start over because that is a waste of calories right there. Oh, that's sad. So I wanna go over my macros and my calories for the day and it's pretty low. Total for calories is 2,031 calories. Macros for the day, we got 224 grams of protein, 138 grams of carbs, and 65 grams of fat. So really low, it's actually lower than what I was aiming for earlier on today, but 
that's okay because I did not feel like I needed to eat more. If I was super hungry and if I felt like I needed more energy, I would have had probably one more meal. But because I really didn't feel like I needed it, I just decided not to just force myself to eat another meal. Now, if this was a training day, this would look a whole lot different. It would look somewhere around 2,500 calories to 2,700 calories. And this is the point where I need to really start digging deep because tomorrow marks six weeks out from my contest. So this is the time that I really need to start tapering things down a little bit. And the best days to do that, for me anyways, is the non-training days because of course I don't need that much energy. So I like to save uh, more calories and more macros and stuff on the big muscle group days. But guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you all next time. All right guys, peace. Fuel, fuel, food prep company. If you guys are looking for a fuel cup, a fuel. If you guys are looking for a few, so if you're looking for a good food prep, so if you're looking for a good, a good. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So this is a perfect opportunity. Okay. I'm late. Okay. So this is a perfect video for me to announce my newest sponsor and that is Fuel Mills. So they decided that they're gonna sponsor me and this is incredible because I know. Okay, yeah, here we go. I'm leaving, okay. I'm okay. going no, no, with no, no, those no, your two okay. takes okay. and okay. I'm going no, away. No. Fuel Mills is a mood. Please, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. I'm done. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I gotta I'm gonna time too. stamp these videos. I gotta videos. eat too. Like fuel Mills, so fuel, so Go to bed. Oh, why? Go take a why? Nap. Why? Go take a nap. <laughs> yeah. What's that gonna be? Maybe it'll fix okay, your brain. It. It. Why does your face look like Popeye? <laughs> Like it smells. You smell so good when we go to bed. <laughs> no, it does not. It definitely does. <laughs> yeah. Big turn on for sure. This is poison. Are you okay? This is poison. We're gonna have cancer you, by the end of this.